the father to Gadenambo, and Akwa. then Javera, who is present, amidst us. There is a certain Mutambo who is not, who is still in Botswana. Tate Wakwatami. My father got me next. Akwata Akwata my Waka Kalena Boberimba. Followed by my Kwata Kalenambo, who is also present with us here. Akwata Mukalona Okaba Polisa Kalenambo. Then a girl called Kapa Polisa Kalenambo. Akwata Kalatanga Kalenambo. Then Kabe Kotogere Gadenambo, Akwata Kabe Ungura Gadenambo, and after Kabe Ungura Gadenambo. Abana me kuingwa me shwata te. Now it's almost the way njule kumuingira. For me to narrate the character Gadenambo, it's quite a task. Chiri. I am thinking about the work that I have to go on to one pick him, with all the praises in between that I can the praises in between that I can't translate, I'm put on to a very tall order. We are talking about a son from. What follows next is just not transcribable and specifically to a certain audience and let me leave it at that. Kahantu, kahantu, oh, kahantu, oh, kahantu, oh, 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 kahantu, oh, kahantu ina, oh, kahuti, kash, oh, mangwaka, washo utuku. Batu ingi wa mashu mangwa shivi, oh, mzi waka hishe ni wamu woko, Batu ingi wa mashu mkumba anuwa kuwa apera, Batu ingi wa mashu mkumba mkumba ana mahalo jipu na shahangari, Batu ingi wa mashu mkumba ana tate siyapa uo, tate siyapa uo, tate siyapa uo, uo kwa na 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 uo Batu ingi mashe kuma ana kamutati na kamuoru. Batu ingi mashe kuma ana baudelari kaka pina kauli ka. Batu ingi mashe mupa shivi. Omo de wizi shivi na kumu ingi ya mashe watat. Bagi saya naik mutu benda namanya kore, itu puturi, kami raiva, puturi, puri pangmi. Nu 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 pada bi, pada nu pada bi, pada bumi kuat ada umi, justru pere, baca tate. Or that they were quarter the tattoo of Mrogoyani, of the Keta, of Tikinini, Tikinini, Aquata, Aquata Arupa, we had it for Arupa, a quarter of the Andro Perimba, with the Andrew Bena, or either one. But he said, I'm very kind of you, Winti, of him to have to take a new Sisi sisi, wenjuru, kita tepu kawajen nawa, mutu benda mutu benda mungkin kore tunda wo de tutu di, okata okata ko, pangkotwe, de tutu di, okuhe, 
in essence, your anger is seeking to reassure the siblings, the children of late Kadenambo, Kadenambo, that they have indeed an anger in the family to rely on. Finally, he just relisted the siblings in order of birth and age. And finally, I am sure he meant it very well, but my ability to get into the cultural sophisticated part of what I cannot find words for is specific to that culture. Now, having left it at that, I now, of course, call upon Dr. Kanji Murangi to step up to the podium. Thank you, Director of Proceedings. Allow me to recognize His Excellency, the Vice President of our Republic, the Deputy Prime Minister, and the Minister of International Relations and Cooperations, and all dignitaries present and I stand by the protocols already established. My name is Ita Kanji Murangi, a paternal cousin to Kadenambo, Kadenambo. Dear Monas, I stand here on behalf of the Kadenambo family and our extended families in Namibia, in Botswana, that have lost a caring and supportive son, a brave fighter, a shrewd businessman and property developer, and an astute politician. Kadenambo was an only child of his father, Vegeta Kadenambo, and his wife, Waduba. As stated earlier by my brother Mbeuta, he was born on the 6th of July 1963 in Maun, and three months later, after his birth, his mother passed off. He was raised by his grandmother. He only came to live with his father at age eight when he started formal school. After many years, his father remarried and had another son. Kadenambo revered his stepmother and loved his half-brother and sisters very much. From an early age, Kadenambo displayed a great sense of responsibility, dependability, and fearlessness. He appeared to be ahead of his time and he was well attuned to historical and contemporary issues better than his peers. He was critical and analytical by nature, and that gave him a unique disposition of having a strong and free independent mind. And then I detested injustices of any form and shape. He detested a sense of entitlement and corruption. He hated to see anyone abused or taken advantage of, whether it's in the home front within our families or in the public as he interacted broadly with the public. He was always quick to talk on behalf of the downtrodden or the ill-treated, known or unknown to him. He was quick to empathize and offer support, whether requested or unsolicited. Kadenambo was born in the Shikashamuha family, a renowned family of great brave warriors and fighters. He was born during the early 60s, as spelled out, 
a period that was marked by the heightened desire and yearning for self-determination in Southern Africa. Already a few years before his birth, in 1962, some Herero young men had been mobilized from, that was in Botswana, from Sihitwa, Makaku, Maun, and Mahalape to go and join the liberation struggle under Swapo to help liberate Namibia. This included the likes of Hangane Kashibukaka Bedeli, Mboro Kahaka, Benjamin Vuve Maekopo, Amon Shesho, Kambido Mbingana, Wahahida Shimbawe, Kaitire Ruhapo, Kabitunde Makuhanga, Ndanga Nganyone, and many others. If one follows the origins of those young men, the majority of them came from the very Oshika, Oshikashamoha family in Botswana, or families in Botswana. The Wahereo in Botswana created a safe passage for our people escaping the harsh colonial rule and treatment in the then Southwest Africa. Notwithstanding the fact that it was illegal and a punishable offense to be harboring refugees on the side of the channel and then, there were known families that were readily coordinating the flow of our people through Botswana, through Botswana to Zambia. And that structure actually started immediately after crossing into Botswana. In Hansi or Makunda, there were families like the Stanley family, Kangwaiko family, and others. In Sihitwa, there were families like Veketa Kadenambo's family, that was Kadenambo Kadenambo's father, Daniel Munamavo's family, Maviho Kandu's family, and many others. And in Maun, there were families such as that of Roise Opro Mankavederi, Shautuma Hashesho, Kamu Korokanji, Kunoviwa Mukuwa, and many others. In Botswana, those years, Namibian refugees were treated and accorded non-partisan support. His father's early involvement with the Namibian refugees in Botswana paved the way for the young Kadenambo's political conscientization. He remained in school, moved from Tau to Mau, and finally to Silibe Pikwe, where he completed grade 12. And it was during his time in Pikwe that he joined Swapo and resolved to eventually go and fight. I must say that I was informed that Kadenambo was literally handed over to Ambassador Ipumbu to see to it that eventually he does get to Angola to fight. Kadenambo came back to Namibia from exile in 1889 along with many of his compatriots. He remained true to the cause of one Namibia, one nation. He worked hard to earn whatever he is leaving behind. He always said, Odombotu Kadenanganda, meaning sitting on your hands will make you poor. Through hard work, he distinguished himself as a property developer, a media holding owner, with a radio station in Okahanja, a committed farmer, a caring family man. My cousin did whatever he committed to with great passion and dedication, sometimes to the point of obsession. He was a man of strong principles and convictions. All his life, he has been a strong proponent of restorative justice, equality, and democracy. 
Kabenambo was very resourceful and supportive to many, to his children, to his family, to his relatives, to friends, and even to strangers. He initiated projects and programs in Namibia and beyond. He was a mentor and advisor to many in Namibia and beyond. He supported relatives and friends through education and employment. He was a true nationalist whose influence and ideas transcended family and tribal lines. He lived the life of a true and proud Namibian who believed that critical thinking developed independent thoughts and ideas that are needed for social progression and development. He lived by his word. He did all he could to promote and propagate equality. A word of gratitude is therefore uh, due to His Excellency for conferring the state, conferring the, the state funeral on Kavenambo Kavenambo. In celebrating his life, let us embed and uphold democracy, equality, justice, and the rule of law. He was indeed a law-abiding citizen. Your immense contributions shall fan the fire of your legacy endlessly, my cousin. Your Excellency, Dr. Nangolo Mbumba, and the rest of the mourners, I seek your indulgence to kindly slot in a message from one of his young sons, a message I believe will leave an indelible mark on all of us from such a young man in memory of his departed father. With your permission, Your Excellency, I will proceed reading the short one-page message. This is a message from Mutumbe Kalenambo. In loving memory of my father, beloved father, passionately known as KK. Kave Panjara, Kave Nambo, Kave Nambo. Allow me to greet you all in Jesus' name while standing on the protocol so established as a son of the politician. My name is Mutumbe, Kave Nambo, second born son of my dad and my mother, and her name is Ingrid Waripi Waithako Mutanga. To many, he was a politician, but to us, a devoted father. And I thank God for having chosen him to be my father. My dad was a responsible father who took pride in his children and sustained his children. Though he would never overly spoil me with expensive gifts and unnecessary luxuries, he taught me the most valuable lessons and the mantra that a person eats from his own sweat at every at a very tender age. 
I remember when I was five years old, my father took my brother and I to Gam for a weekend for an official introduction to the family called Okukwatwa to be born. That's the family name known by. Ever since that, all I wanted to do was to go there and stay with my dad. For though he was a busy man, I appreciate the fact that he could always make time for us. One time I asked my father why I couldn't stay with him and he said to me, my son, I am a lone walker. He hama, I don't sit restly or down. Meunju, shiwa tongo, I'll wait when you are a little bit older. Amushia, or the holiday, a taragusha, or heroveni, mamutaka point day. I'll wait until you are a little bit older. Then I can observe whether you can truly put food on the table with your own hands. Shagumba, amihivango anashe, beutuka kukatikulongan. He further on went to state that he doesn't prefer raising children between two households. But it was not long after that my father started to take us with him for holidays on a regular basis. I enjoyed traveling with him. And my brother, Munikore, that name means the harvester. And we learned a lot from him. We learned love, hard work, and endurance. Every time he fetches me, he would tell my mother and my stepfather, Mutumbe Maiko Plota Maleka Umbra. Mutumbe is accompanying me to my residence and there is work to do. That was his motto, Okungura, to work. The fact that he would use the term Mutumbe to be rich. Maleka Umbra, when picking me up, I'm taking Mutumbe to go work when picking me up would not deter me from wanting to be with him. He would always ask my mother about my performance at school and would ensure that if I was struggling in any way, he would look for a tutor for me to do even better. His dream was for us to complete school. Education was very important for him. I am sad. I'm heartbroken as I could not visit my father in hospital due to the situation with COVID. However, we as a family prayed without ceasing for his healing. I was shocked when I received the news that my dad has departed. My stepfather encouraged and consoled me and we prayed for strength to accept that which we cannot change. I had an extraordinary father, a brave father, a straightforward father, and above all, a loving father. Many would not understand. Indeed, he was loving. I don't regret any moment spent with my dad as much as he was strict and consistent he was also loving and he left a huge vacuum in my life i am enjoying listening to him especially when he expresses himself politically and talking about the genocide of 1904 or just generally something that would cheer me up my 
father may have departed to death, but his legacy will linger on forever. He always reminded us of the wealth that can come from one's own hands and hard work. So much so that he called me Mutumbe. I will work hard to manifest the meaning of my name in honor of what my dad has taught me in his legacy. I love my dad. May his soul rest in eternal peace. That's the end of Mutumbe's message. We move on, Your Excellency, dear mourners, and the family, and step on to the next series of messages, starting on with Honorable McHenry Kanyono Kerevenani of the PDM and leader of the official opposition. As you are marching to take up the podium, I also want to line up a message of the Swapo Party to be delivered by Honorable Cornelia Chilunga. And next thereafter would be a message from the former president, His Excellency Dr. Ifike Punye Pohamba, to be delivered by General Matundu. And also, finally, from the former president, there would be a message to be delivered by the same Honorable Matundu from the founding father, Dr. Sam Shafishuna Nuyoma. Honorable McKenna Benadi, the podium is yours. Thank you very much, Director of Ceremony, Director General of the National Planning Commission, Buipaha Kanjore, a former member of Parliament, Vice President of our Republic, Excellency Nangalombumba, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of International Cooperation of our Republic, Netumbo Nandi Daitwa, members of the cabinet of our republic present, members of the National Assembly, the Secretary General of the ruling party, Sophia Shaningwa, a Marshal Martin K. Pinius, Chief of the Namibian Defense Force, traditional leaders present at this very somber occasion, prelate priests and men of the clergy led by Bishop Gustav Mupura, Luminaries of our great republic that are present, excellencies, ambassadors, and plenipotentiaries of states that might be present at this very sober occasion, fellow mourners, the children. It has become almost all too familiar for us to gather here on such a solemn occasion. Over the past few months and weeks, we have said our final goodbyes to a plethora of great outstanding countrymen and women at this very location. But this goodbye, and this particular goodbye, is particularly excruciating. As we are congre congregated here today, we must not just offer eulogies and tributes. Instead, we must celebrate the life of a man who laughed and fought quite literally for his country with every fiber of his being. It is indeed a sad and a dark day in history of our polity as we mourn the passing of a dear father, a colleague, a compatriot, and quite frankly, a national hero. To the bereaved family, I offer to you and myself and Claudinos and the PDM our deepest condolences. And I say unto you, your pain is our pain and your sorrow is indeed our sorrow. In the same vein, allow me to express my utmost gratitude to the family for having shared the late Kadenambo with the people of Namibia 
people of Botswana, people of Sadak, and the world at large. While the purpose of today's gathering is to bid him fare thee well, we also commemorate and acknowledge his immense and unquantifiable contribution to his country. In the many profound tributes that have been delivered by various individuals over the past week, one overriding sentiment has remained consistent, and that is the fact that KK's passing has surely marked an end of an era. An end of an era of a detester. A man who detested tribalism. A man who detested avarice and greed and corruption. A man who detested injustice done to anyone in this republic. KK was a robust, unequivocal, unapologetical, authentic individual. The late Kader number was one not to mince his words, no matter how unpopular his opinion may have been. What you saw is what you got. His life was one of sacrifice, selflessness, and service to his people and country. I remember an acrimonious argument that I had with him on a private matter that he wanted to sell a property to me on the outskirts of Vinduk. As a property developer, he was keen on making the price and he wanted the best price for the piece of land, quite a very awful piece of land that he wanted. And I say to him, by Kiki, I think anyone does up or Leave this swap tendency of trying to win everything. Ah, yeah, yeah. That day. You saw the general, uh, the businessman in him saying that, no, Venani, this is not a swap PDM story. This is business. He was a very good, good negotiator. I remember very fondly. KK was an outspoken advocate for restorative justice in respect of the 1904-1908 of Herero Nama genocide. He was a staunch proponent of a fair and honorable deal from the Germans. This was an issue close to the late Skadenambo's heart. He sent me the last communication that I had with him before he went into the ICU, the coma situation. He sent a message well, I inquired, first I inquired with Dr. Itakanji on how he was doing because there was a rumor doing around that he passed on and so later on the week I communicated with him and he wrote something to me and he says, Benani, we are left with you, our people, our country is fighting difficult trying times but we are left with you, stand for all of us, fight for all of us like you can because some of us might not be around for long. This is the last message on WhatsApp that he sent to me. Now on this matter of genocide, colleagues, mourners, Namibians, we must rise above political differences. The national interest of our country, the interest of the victims of the genocide, must reign supreme as we are about to debate the German negotiated deal in Parliament. And I have done the best I could do to reach out to all political formations in this republic. That we get out of parliament with a deal that is respectable to our people. That's the best way we can honor the life of Kadenambo Kadenambo. And I would propose and pro I'm propagating for us to collapse the deal because the deal does not represent the values, the ethos, and the suffering of the people that have gone through a genocide so worse as ours. We can't afford to have political bickering and differences on something so important. Let the national interest of our people reign supreme. Whether you're PDM, you're SWAPO, or for any other political formation, our people deserve a fair and a right deal. A deal that the Polish, the Jewish, and many others received, we are also entitled to that deal. And let's stand together in unison, the children of this country, to collapse the deal and go for a second round to have a workable formula that represents the ethos and values of our people.
But the number was candid. A forthright maverick and a free spoken man. These are qualities which were easily identifiable within him from the age of 16 when he joined politics. These are the qualities which, which would later guide and cement his political career and professional life. At the age of 21, he traveled to Angola, where he received military training and later joined the Soapo Party militant wing plan as a combatant. Fellow mourners, while many consider him to be an unorthodox and vocal, one thing is certain, he loved this country, Namibia, very profoundly. In all his portfolios, which he served in public office, whether that of a deputy minister of regional and local government and housing, and rural development, or a minister of youth, national service, sports and culture, he lent immense stature and gravity to all the roles and positions he held. Death indeed has robbed us of one of our, of our only loyal compatriot, but a strident moral voice. He was never afraid to confront the vices that can all too easily engulf a nation still reeling from the dark colonial past. He never shied away from criticizing the avarice that threatened to erode our hard-won democracy and independence. But the number took it as his solemn responsibility to address and challenge the abuse of power, plunder of resources in the country and in his own party. He never fell short in reminding the government when it faltered. He could not be cowed and he would never be silenced. The late KK, as he was affectionately known, possessed many admirable qualities. He truly was an individual of talent, integrity, and great resolve. Renowned philosopher Musonius Rufus reminds us when he said, and I quote, given that all must die, it is better to die with distinction than live long, unquote. Indeed, this has been especially true in the case of the late Kadenambo. At the age of 58, he has lived distinctly, unfortunately, not for as long as we may have wished. It is regrettable that he left us while he could still richly contribute to this country. However, if his departure has taught us anything, it is to place the needs and interests of our people at the very center of every policy, every strategy, every discussion, and every, and every vision. If the leadership of this country failed to do so, we must not hesitate to hold them to task. We must draw lessons from the life of our departed colleague, who wholly embraced the concept of leadership and of putting the interest of the collective above that of the individual. We must return to the values on which our nation was built. We must every day remind ourselves that our society will never truly be free unless we advance the cause of the poor and downtrodden and improve the socio-economic condition. It is our solemn and collective responsibility to strive together, sparing neither courage nor strength, to carve out a future that the generations after us will be proud of. To this goal, he understood all too well the dictum that in order to change the status quo, we must challenge the questionable and not hesitate to hold the powers that be, ac that be accountable. KK never took the easy road out but rose to the challenge with every role in which he was deployed he was a man that stood up for what he believed in no matter how uncomfortable that the truth may have been a highly principled individual kk as he was affectionately known always spoke truth to power we remember quite clearly his frank and candid conversations on tribal dominance and his warnings thereof his legacy is undoubtedly deep impactful and enduring he joins a pantheon of exemplary leaders that this country has given birth to. It is important, Director of Ceremony, to point out that the measures used by the National Honours Advisory Committee to determine who is conferred what national status need serious contemplation and fundamental review as the decision-making process is currently skewed and unbalanced. And to our forebearers we receive, we say, Receive the spirit of KK very well. He may have left his mortal world of ours, but his legacy exists all around us. It is the rich Namibian soil on which we rest our feet. It is in our clear blue skies, in the abundance of our seas. It lives on in our unique and bountiful flora. His legacy lives on, the, on in the people of this great country. His legacy shall continue to endure in our beautiful country because for as long as we fondly remember 
Kadenambo, Kadenambo, we shall remember the country which he greatly loved, Namibia. As we bid farewell to this great statesman, we take comfort in knowing that he ran his race and did so honorably and distinctly. KK has gone home now to his internal resting place, guided by commitment to freedom and by the spirit of those that preceded him. History is repeating itself, Director of Ceremony. At the very precinct that we are standing, there was a concentration camp here, where many generals died. Yesterday was a day that Chief Samuel Maharero was reburied in Okahanja 98 years ago, and yesterday this country celebrated Heroes Day. Omashengui, Ovitovinen, Biakazu Pikavas, Yomu Ando Mufupo Shoham, Omashewa Shiri, Wamushith, Okatharandu Molonguru, Shamaha, Waruko Wanash, Ashakavikun, Ashambaha Hill, Ashambaha Hida, Mauto Anjewat, Omashewa Hia, Mauto Longo Moshoa Viru, Omashewa Kamanomen. Omoshewa Opupe no mundo mudando murumendo kavikunwa ewanda ha kudepo ha kwenye maharo cha aruka mui. Omuzi wa mundo gwe ya hongire ni chavere wa don jimbi kwa utoker. Maharo wosipu na cha hengaro shiwa shopo kati koma rama wa hingo don gombeshi da ya koma ngeshi da kaka ndomu dandua hoko ambeshi ura omuana go no don gombeshi pui moni kohim. Omu pasi omuzi wa kahisi ne wa muhoko na nambungia kere wa mambo herero oheka kumbwa rambo mene ya koma ngo namba nda kau bali ketrambo aniga ningo ndo ba ose ngojo aka mene wa inagaire rangu ma cha hisi ne him pura numbiti ruasi kani na wamu dandua mukwet chimo karara pukandi ata maere vanji kwa danga ite ya maere chimo karara ko 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 shikango kundo kwa mui ya mule ya tu kwa bali muko tete matu bera ere kujawa la polo ndo dumbali wa injo mungo mung na injiri chiro wa muzi injiri chiro chiro kita wa muhara injiri kavi wa mumbango mupahe kujio dawa injiri mbaya kaku poa chiro kujia mbaya kani na wamu chomo dandu muri mendo kutumba ramba chomo dandu kwa upata ne wa kwe uba oriar wajia pa ngo mbaya mungu ba jika muri kovi chundu ke hangero tu chanya koma kondir umu dandu muri mendo ogwe baruke no hang. Sana kuna umu nimbu maui njiwa yu mpara lukoro Mwishikiro shinjanji Kukucha anje mparu kwa kusha vi Amu ipiko amu sapota yu mpara lukoro Kukucha kerito omungu ondiki ya Chima hingiro chino shiwa O PDM anjari o PDM anayi Chima hingiro ngu mge uro mbako Kenji mwini mungu za vi Njiwa njiri yu maisha vi Nga kupunde kwa uri Kwa roko mwini Chima na uyo ndu ngenji alo mungu o PDM Omungu alo mengi na uyo O viruri kwa mbano ngu mdu njo Oshie oshie, oko upe tu Afrika, ikara na mungu nda kuri pondo ndongo, oko jamu ndi pule pule ndo ni kama seredi mwe, kodo mu ne zili zili, ali ni mochi wana, chetu chana mbi oshini, kasho la hero la sherike, onda ro juwa na jetu, ne na rukuchonde. Honorable Laura McLeod Kashirwa, 
governor of the Commerce region, distinguished service chiefs, veterans of the national liberation struggle, dear comrades, fellow mourners. Swapo Party has learned with sympathy about the untimely passing on of one of the freedom fighters, comrade Kadenambo Kadenambo, who passed on the 17th of August, 2021. Born in Botswana in 1963, the late comrade Kadenambo joined Swapo in 1979 at the tender age of 16. Live from Manchester to the UK, Namibia, Canada, the US, and all over the world, this is HK Radio 95.1. HK Radio 95.1 Community Update Deployed to the front He then served as a journalist for NAMPA and the Voice of Namibia Radio Post-independence Comrade Kadenambo served the Namibian nation in different capacities as an advisor in the office of the Prime Minister until the year 2005 when he was elected to the fourth national assembly he was then appointed as a deputy minister of regional and local government housing and rural development and later as a minister of youth national service sports and culture he served as a member of the political bureau of the Central Committee of Swapo Party and also as the Deputy Secretary for Economic Affairs. At the time of his passing, he was an advisor to the Swapo Party Secretary for Economic Affairs. Indeed, he served his party and country with honor and we shall forever be indebted to his valuable contributions. The passing of Comrade Kadenambo is a great loss, not only to his family and the community he lived in, but also to the Swapo Party and to the Namibian nation at large. He was a freedom fighter, a fearless outspoken leader, and an advocate for social justice and democracy. Comrade Kadenambo Kadenambo, as affectionately known, was a very straightforward character. Losing him at this time is not an easy thing. When tough times come, a character like Kadenambo Kadenambo would just be the one you are looking for. As a comrade, I also had my tough times with Comrade Kadenambo Kadenambo. But I at times felt it was very important to listen to him. Comrade Kadenambo Kadenambo, you have done what you could do, you have run your race, and you have accomplished your journey. Go well, son of the soil, and rest in power. Therefore, on behalf of the Swapo Party leadership, as well as its rank and file, and indeed on my own behalf, it is with humility and respect that I extend our sincere and deepest condolence to the bereaved family and at large to the Namibian nation. May the soul of Comrade Kadenambo Kadenambo rest in revolutionary peace. Thank you. Iti ya kima hingiro chino shiwa o PDM anjari o PDM anayi. Kima hingiro ngunge uro mbako kenjuma imungu za hii. Njua njiri wa maisha hii nga kupunde kwa hui kwa roko nguini. Kima hingiro ngunge njia wa mungu wa PDM ha. Omu 
kodong mune zili rezi ya lini mochi wana shetu sana mibi yoshini kasho vahelo la sherike ondaro yoji wana yetu menaro kuchombe kuriru yetu ya wali mbapuro mundu mkenya mkenya mana aerobi e pula kuja vi ongwa ya kitu graduate Honorable Dr. Netumbo Nandi Ndaitwa, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of International Relations and Cooperation. I am feel honored and privileged to be assigned to deliver these two important messages. My name is Jenny Matundu, Deputy Minister International Relations and Cooperation. I will read this message as has been given and it reads as follow a message from the former president to the bereaved family of late honorable kadenambo kadenambo message of condolences it was with a sense of grief and sadness that made them pene hupifo and i have learned of the passing on of late kadenambo the number on 17 August 2021 at a local hospital in Vindok. Comrade Kadenambo Kadenambo has been a super party creator most of his life. Being a descendant of the, of, of the survivors of the genocide, he understood the hurt and injustice, injustice perpetually suffered by our people, by the imperialists, through the decade and centuries. At the tender age of 16, the late Kadenambo Kadenambo joined Swapo Party in 1979 and in 1984 he received military training in Angola which he completed five years later. He was ready to like, she was ready to like many Namibians sacrificed his life for. Join Swapo military wing, the People's Liberation Army of Namibia in 1986, and was at the battlefield until 1989. His contribution to nationhood building are notable. Comrade Kadenambo has, has been a long time member of the Swapo Party Youth League, SPILE, serving on its central committee from 1991 to 2000, 2002. After the 2004 general elections, during my tenure as president, I appointed this dynamic young, hard-working men in different portfolios in our government. The late comrade Kadenambo will be remembered will be remembered as an outspoken cutter who spoke his mind, which at times generated admiration or discomfort throughout our nation. However, we acknowledge with great appreciation the sacrifices, gallantry and determination with which he has contributed to the liberation struggle and nationhood building effort of this country. On, my own, on behalf of my family, and indeed on my own behalf, we would like to extend our most sincere sympathy and deep felt condolences to the entire bereaved family during this difficult time and mourning and sorrow. May the soul of late Kadenambo, Kadenambo rest in internal peace, signed Hifike Punye Pohamba, former president. Let me now move to the second message, that of the founding father of the Namibian nation. The message from the founding president and the founding father of the Namibian nation, Dr. Sam Nyoma, reads as follows. Dear bereaved family members, I was deeply saddened to learn about the passing on of the former Minister of Youth, National Service, Sports and Culture, and a veteran of our national liberation struggle, Honorable Kadenambo 
Kadenambo on Tuesday, 17 August 2021, due to COVID-19 related complications at the age of 58. It is therefore with heavy hearts that we join the nation in beating farewell to one of our fearless and formidable freedom fighters whose illustrious military and political career speaks volume of his immense contribution to our country before and after independence. KK, as he was affectionately known, executed his role as Minister of Youth, National Service, Sports and Culture with diligence and with dedication. Against this background, his passing has not only robbed the bereaved family and friends of a caring person, but has also robbed, robbed us of a vibrant and dynamic voice of the voiceless who served our country exceptionally well. KK was known as a man of his words and never shy to offer his opinion on anything. Those within earshot will hear it. He was not one for quiet diplomacy, a quality that both set him apart and agitated his peers. KK would speak from the heart and could give an assessment of the polit politics in a country and in a swap party with little regard for his own political survival. We recall when he said, what needs to happen between now and 2024 is for swap politics, whether we are serving currently or not, to critically look ourselves in the mirror and without apportioning blame on anyone but ourselves. In addition, he said, the problem of fighting ourselves is a weak link within our party because many of those that are in the leadership enjoy bashing others and, exclude, and, and excluding others. He continued say, saying that what need to, to, what need to do is swallow our pride, mend our echoes and say as a swap of family we quarrel and fought but for the sake of this organization for which we left our colleagues in unmarked graves across the world. Let us concentrate on the bigger picture. Though he has departed, we will continue to draw strength and inspiration from his life. We commend his spirit to our departed veteran of the liberation struggle and hand over the work of his hand to his family and future generations as a symbol of honor to his service and love for our country. To his family, our hearts go out to you as you go through the grief of a loss so overwhelming. As you walk through these difficult times, it is our wish that you are consoled by the knowledge that the formidable legacy of KK lives on including as an unapologetic and vocal advocate for the reparations of our people by Germany. As you carry him to the final resting place, allow me on behalf of the veterans of our, lib our national liberation struggle, the Nuyoma family, and indeed on my own behalf, to extend our deepest condolences and heartfelt sympathies to the entire bereaved family and comrades for this loss. May we all be granted fortitude during these trying times. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Signed, Sam Nuyoma, founding president of the Republic of Namibia, and I thank you.
next would be the military band to give us performance thereafter which we battle second phase of messages by his excellency uh, excellency's representative of the chief mona dr angolo mbumba the band the open space is for your music Ukuchiyo <laughs> Honorable Robert Kanjombe, Director General of National Planning Commission, and the Director of this memorial service. Distinguished members of the great Kadenambo family, children, women, uncles, aunties, 
all members of the Nambo family. Honorable Netumbo Nandi Daitwa, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of International Relations, Chief Maharero, Maharero Royal Family, Bishop Hangane Mupurwa, Air Marshal Martin Kamburu Pineas, Honorable Members of Cabinet and Parliament, Honorable Sophia Shaningwa, Secretary General of the Swapo Party, Honorable McHenry Venani, President of PDM and Leader of the Official Opposition, Honorable McLaur, McLaura, Laura McLeod Kachirwa, Governor of the Commerce Region, and any other governor here present, distinguished service chiefs, esteemed religious, traditional, and community leaders, dear fellow mourners. My responsibility today is to read the message from our Head of State, His Excellency, Comrade Dr. Hage Gottfried Gangok. I have listened to all the statements that were spoken here. KK was KK and only him can be so many things to all of us. To be, re to be representing a head of state is quite a duty and a responsibility. All things that were said here, some were diplomatic, some were militant, and all that cover what KK could have done himself. We are here in the parliamentary garden. Parliament is there. That's where we debate issues and decisions are taken, not here. We are here to mourn Kadenambo Kadenambo. The man he is, as a member of SWAPO, as a fighter in plan, not in any other institution. That let us make that clear. We are free to claim Kadenambo Kadenambo, all of us. But just remember, member of SWAPO, minister in the SWAPO government, and the fighter in plan. Let me now read the statement of His Excellency the President. It reads as follows as written A bright star shines no more. A voice that echoed across the land of the break has gone silent. A flame that burned with strength and passion has been extinguished. On August 17, 2021, the dark shadow of death engulfed a distinguished son of the soil. Several days have passed since that fateful day, but the departure from this world of Comrade Kadenambo Kadenambo is still difficult to accept. Such was his vibrancy, such was the shock of his demise, that one feels as if he still walks amongst us. Thus, today's gathering is an opportunity for the nation to commemorate the life of a vibrant soul and pay respect to an outstanding son of Namibia. We remember, we remember the impact he has had 
on our lives and we bid farewell to a patriot who was committed to the liberation of Namibia and uplifting the Namibian people who had spent decades under colonial brutality to economic prosperity. If you were to recount all the achievements of Comrade Kadenambo's life, we would be here for a very long time. However, to honor his legacy, allow me to cast back to a few of his achievements and contributions to the struggle for Namibia's independence. The late Comrade Kadenambo emerged from the milieu of resistance and struggle against apartheid colonialism. Thus, he took the selfless decision to join the liberation struggle, knowing that doing so could result in death. This reality did not deter him from carrying out his patriotic duty to his country and people and therefore he prepared to face head on the brutality of the apartheid regime. It was this drive to realize the self-rule of the Namibian people that inspired Comrade Kadenambo to join the, Namib the Namibian liberation struggle in 1978. As a young student living in Botswana at the time, Comrade Kadenambo became involved in mobilizing Namibians in Botswana to join Swapo. In 1986, Comrade Kadenambo went to Angola to join the People's Liberation Army of Namibia plan and received his military training at the Tobias Hainieko Training Center. Due to his ability, abilities as a leader and a fighter, Comrade Kadenambo quickly rose through the ranks of PLAN, serving in positions such as Section Commander, Platoon Commissar, and Acting Company Commissar at the North Eastern Front. As a man, as a man of many talents, Shortly before independence, Comrade Kadenambo worked as a reporter of the Namibia Press Agency, NAMPA, as well as for the voice of Namibia radio shows. Following independence, Comrade Kadenambo joined the government in 1992 and in 1996, I appointed him as one of my advisors in my office during my first tenure as Prime Minister. He was a member of the Swapo Party Youth League, serving on his Central Committee from 1990 to 2002. As a youth leader, who showed potential and promise, Comrade Kadenambo was elected as a member of the 4th National Assembly of Namibia and served as Deputy Minister of Local and Regional Government, Housing and Rural Development until 2010. He was then appointed as Minister of Youth, National Service, Sports and Culture, a position in which he served until 2012. In 2014, Comrade Kadenambo was appointed as a member of the Swapo Political Bureau. A passionate man, a valiant fighter, an unwavering patriot, and a brilliant politician. The impact of Comrade Kadenambo's lifetime exploits will be forever be etched in our history. 
He will be remembered as a man who lived with vigor and spoke from the heart. His name will forever be synonymous with the struggle for independence. He has joined his peers, veterans of the Namibian liberation struggle, who have contributed to the freedom of Namibians from all walks of life, from all tribes and ethnic groups, and from all races. To the children, grandchildren, and the entire Kadenambo family, we, the people of Namibia, in sadness and tears, offer our condolences and share with you all in mourning this huge national loss. It is said, and I quote, our dead are never dead to us until we have forgotten them, end of quote. The late Comrade Kavenambo saved his country with highest distinction. He shall be clearly missed. Although he is gone, he will never be forgotten. So, while he may not be with us physically, he will never be dead to us. We will hold dearly in our hearts his passion and zeal, which will continue to inspire us as we pursue our goal of nation building, our goal of building a Namibian house defined by a harmonious society and economic opportunity for all. Go well, Comrade Kavenambo Kavenambo. May your soul find eternal rest and eternal peace. That is the message of the head of state, Hage Gottfried Gankop. And I thank you for your attention. Without further ado, we are now in the final and last phase of this memorial service. That is the process of laying of wreath, and that starts with a family representative, followed by His Excellency, our Vice President, on behalf Chief Mona, followed by Marshal Martin K. Pineas, Chief of the Namibian Defense Force. Thereafter, which I will make a few announcements before Pastor Gustav, or Bishop Gustav Mupura, offers us the final benediction. Then we get into the national anthems which leads us to the end of the program. Just a little bit over time, and my apologies for that. Thank you. Family representative.
Enjoy the video man chati Nga kupunde kongi Kongo kongi ni Si mina ujo nko genji alo mongo pidi ema O mungu alo mingi na ujo O o o o virude kongo no rungu njo O si o si o ko ufe ki afrika Ikara nao Mungu nda kuli pondo nga njo O huja mwenji pule pili yando ni kamekele di mwye Kongo mwune zili nezi ya rini mochi wana Chetusha na mivyo shini Kasho nga heru wa sherike Ondaro uziwa na yetu Menaro kucho nime kuriru yetu Yavari mba puro mundu mwa Kenya Mwa Kenya mwa Nairobi Epule afiti ya vii Ongwa ya kitu graduate ya puno wako yetu Kono skole kono university Owa ndo iti munga yetu manipulate amba Tuaripu na wabu skole mwa mbeli na ano nyi No 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 opi Kwa siya ndi no ndi nu Kinga kwa muno kuhuto kumuno mundo yi shiuri Umuno munda u haze vera uri chumuno chumuno mundo atira uri kwa We are colonized mentally Omundo nga njira era kukuja vi mbae O problema putu loko za pono wana shembanu Ate owa owa vya ruka vika tungo wa institution wa nene No vi kwa e E taki ya ruka atuka siya no pare ruka katita mba putu wa putu putu wa la Eto wa expecta kuhu yoro mwono etu ka eto wa expecta O shino shi tenga kaku tungo capacity of institution ali tuli Si hamba kaku tenge Opinion na mungu kumeshu Aminu Kimba hama puna omu kakia Dokta omu kakia Neko njo kuti ukulite kisa puna omu kakia Ngwani mbwe yu hongo mbiko Anikoro mbiko Akarano rondu ngende na wanzo mbiko Nguchito researcha mbiko Ne utoku ya ruka po yao paza Ne utoku utakujo hili njo mamu ni kazi E utoku ni oku e utoku Utokuni okuli shida yoshimu na amu expecta puye na nchi do ando ando ali utoku ali utoku le chola roli ya bi ayo umano kare na mbombo ma posi seraka e uwa mungu mani juu ipa paroli me na kujia makuni ndo au muri kuruto kano ngo yetu oyu oyu wanavi hembi hakara no longo biniengo no longo lao biha ife o wetu moja chipiro jinja jicho ufa yu mbarari wako. All founding ya isikiro jinjanji Oja anja uto ukula ujari Hapo uli puna ete nwa Uka enda puna ete na wa Uwa mahare rongi Ani mba uto kupuro iyo mungu uja mwa asha mwa Mwenji purile mena uja mecha li Mbara li wako Uwa mwa uto isikiro jinjanja Munda tulipo zondondondonu Tuliko kure Tuliko kure Tufakuru mbro mindseta O ulipula wetu, o usiona wetu, o hani yetu Ete, ili pondondo yetu, ili njo kuyo mekuli o yetu, ili mwa vitu ali yetu Chuta uto kumuna wetu, oputu hava kwa hama pamo, mejo wa yuta wa hanika uli di chimu netene yu Kwa siya, lesa ya kikila anje ili mo, utaro claim conference ha Utaro owa yuta mbeha, mbeha hama pamo, mwikiro chinyanyanu Owandu beha hama pungu hii umwe kaparu kabi nyo Yowani na pechi zilo nyo mwingu mbao tukula mbo Awe ya londere mpe Owe ndiyo ndiko noo ya kulea ben karamata mu Koko shari O expecta Mwuri chitu wa diplomatika uwe uwe openji Mwuri toko tate upore Ami 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 Pumbale alungo pundi kulea kujabi Shine hindi
offer them the moment. It's a historic picture, I'm sure. And all of us do not really mind. He only had three children. Thank you indeed, very kindly for your indulgence. Kunene Gweba. Kunene Gweba. Now we, we move into the phase of benediction by Bishop, by Bishop Gustav Ngane Mupurwa. And again, just so we end without announcements, I take this opportunity to announce that there would be a parcel for takeaway serving as lunch for each one of us. Please step to the tables and the catering people to my left and you will be getting your helping. Also, tomorrow's program remains on schedule. It will start at 8.30. It should end by 9.30 as scheduled. For those that may be finding it a bit of a challenge to locate the turn-off, I'm told and informed that as soon as you pass the Jan Japan Motor Vehicles uh, facility, you take a left to Okapuka Farm. Please do ensure that you have the directions for your satisfaction an early pitching in order to allow for a timely start. With that, Bishop Gustav Angane Mupura, please take the podium, thereafter which we move straight into the AU and national anthems. I thank you, Bishop Mupura. Master of Ceremony and Director of Ceremony, the main city which I'm going to make a Kumbuk and Akaraway. I'm not a Tupu, the Mamanji city. But to come around our swear one. And I have a tattoo, Take, Nomuna, Nombepo, and Japuke, Kuruetu, Mukru, Abraham, Isaka, and Ayakova. Govan and Evetu Peto Vurumba Kumungue, Shango Tango, and Ara and Maditango, nobody really quay. Macapa and Atama Shungra Church in Nene Utiro Hanke, Norusuero, Tupa Unongo, Wine and Oka and Tishungrahi. Not to whom Mina Mose Umbutuli Makatikao Davida Osawa Navahe Pundu. Akarele woye matusha lidangwewe huhumina omuni Masa woye ondi e karelela Ushua na shoya chihe tate Boilimo yuliri ni matu ningire matusha Alika natu pao masa oku kongolela na kutela obishitwa Yomuka karele woye Mundo vi ungura viwa Ya ungulire hiretu Kuimba abehe batu nuko shalishao we are to Atera in the Nanaruhe. Amen. We shall all rise to give honor to our national anthems, the African Union anthem, followed by the national anthem.
sana kuno ngune kuma wiki bayo mpararukoro mu chikiro chinjanje okujanje mbarukwa kujabi amu amu sapota yo mpararukoro okuja kediton omungu onditi ya kima hingiro chino chiwa o pdm anjalo pdm anai chima hingiro ndunge uro mbato kejima imungu za hii njwa njiri yo maisha hii nga tupunde kori koro kongwi chima hujo ndunge njalo mungu o pdm Kenya mentally o problema é tudo o que já pôs no ar na chimbanu até o o avião que vai cá tungo do instituto novo nené novo equipe é está aqui a roca a tocar se eu não parei a roca pitam da puta 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 lá é todo o expecta com o dia hora mudei tudo é todo o expecta o chinês se tem a cá tu tungo capacidade do instituto na leitura se a embarcar tu tenge opinião na mão do governo a minu chimba há uma puna o mukakia doutor o mukakia Neko nyoko si ukulite kisa puna omu kakuya haa Mwani mwe yuho ngo mbiko Anikoro mbiko Akarano rondu ngende na rondu mbiko Nguchito resecha mbiko Ne utoku ya ruka po ya otaza Ne utoku utakujo hili njyo mamu ni kazi E utoku ni utoku ni ukuli shidayo chimu na Amo ekspeta puye Na nguchito wandu wandu A utoku a utoku re Chihola ya roli ya vi Ayo Oh mano, kalian ambang bumi apa sih seraka? Eh, gua munggu mana yang jadi paparori? Nenek aku jangan makun yang jauh muri korut. Kan nunggu itu. Oh, you, oh, you wanna be happy? Hakaran nunggu nunggu. Be nunggu nunggu lah. Be happy se. Oh, si macam si tiro jinjang jinjang. Oh, pergi om barari waku. Oh, pergi om barari jinjang. Oh, jangan jangan tunggu lagi jadi. Apa uli pun ada tenggu. Oh, kalau tak ada pun ada tenggu. Oh, semua mana hari rombi. Ani mau tu kupu ayam mungu jamu ayam ha. Mungu tu punya menang jamu cari orang barat di luar ko. Ibu orang gua untuk kita jadi jaga. Gua tak kuli pasang don don don. Puli ko kuli. Puli ko kuli. Tu sok kuli kuli orang main seka. Orang di pula we tu. Orang siang na we tu. Orang hari we tu. Ete ini pon don don we tu. Ini joko ni we kuli we tu. Ini mobil tu ayam. Chito ndo kumuna wa oputu hawa kwa hama pamo Nesho wa yuta wa hamika uli vichi mune tenei Kwa siya nesho wa kikila anje hili mo Utaro klein konferensa Utaro wa yuta beha Beha hama pamo mchikilo chinja nyanu Owa ndu beha hama kumbu Kumwe kapaka Yowani na kwechikilo chinja nyanu Mwimba wato kulambo Awi ya wandere pe Ole njiwa ndiko noya kwa ya mkara matamu Koko shari Kwa ekspeta Mo vichito wa diplomatika wa uyo penji Mungu kutake upole Ame pumbale Ame pumbale Chime ingire puno mungu Omote mwapo Chime nga doka nchua mga niwe Nende niwe ni Nene ya ya kuye nga chine poka Nene nga poi na kutanga Kwa siya Kwa chime ingire puna doka nchua mga bango Nene ya ya kuye Pumbu
Ongaretta <laughs> Kalisome <laughs> Kuna wakale na mbo, mekwe sile mba, ukuturi maa oh. tuka pa horuwe dhoro paturuke ukusha tu konji so kura aero shi wana noku hongo shi wana mbima tu na ngasi mavi tutuwa konji
95.1 Community Update Live from Manchester to the UK, Namibia, Canada, the US and all over the world This is HK Radio 95.1